to my vlog what's going to happen. Um, so this week, I uh, start off the week doing a podcast uh, with Josh Lehman for Josh Swallows Broadway. That's the name of his podcast. And he wanted to do an Into the Woods reunion from uh, our cast of the Shakespeare in the Park production, the one at the Delacorte. That was a few years back. <laughs> um, so we had Jesse Mueller and Gideon Glick, Chip Zion, Josh, and I on, and we spent an hour just talking about our experience doing that show. And it was so awesome and so lovely to be in that room with them, and I haven't spent like an hour sitting down talking to them in a long time. And it got me thinking about theater families. So, um, you know, then I continued on in the, this week and, and shooting stuff and with this My Crazy Tootsie family. And then I was looking back at all the footage and I thought, um, yeah, it's so interesting how quickly and, and intimately and fiercely you bond with your company um, whenever you're doing a show. And whenever you see them again after it's been a long time, it you kind of jump back into that thing you used to do, those same old roles that you played. And, um, and it's really so wonderful. And I don't know what that is about theater that just makes you connect in such a... A, a deep way, uh, but it does happen in every show. And so I started asking some people backstage what, you know, what they, what that meant to them, like theater families. And so this week you're going to see um, my Tootsie Theater family just being themselves and being crazy. And then you're also going to hear some people talking about what theater family means to them. Um, yeah, and that's it. And uh, I guess lastly, I'm just really. I'm really excited to be in this particular family right now, and um, yeah, so here we go. Here, here they are. Is that a pretzel rod? It's a cigar. It is a pretzel rod, but normally I'd have a cigar. <laughs> Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, get out of here! <laughs> yeah! Wait. <gasps> Did you and Andy do you do things like this? Yeah, we figured this out. This is how. This is what we do. This humidifier doesn't actually do anything for us health-wise. We just like to drink. <laughs> oh, it's a bubbling cauldron. Yeah, I'm like a witch. <laughs> hey guys. Hi, Sarah. What's going on? Well, we're discussing clothes. Oh, for what? Well. You know, he's a Tony nominee. Oh, he needs uh, he needs an outfit. Well, he needs an outfit, so, you know, and we're thinking we're thinking of even like going a little wild, you know. He was thinking Yeah, like crushed velvet. I I, I nixed the green. I nixed the green. Oh, that's yeah. too much of the Joker. Yeah. It's a little <laughs> leprechaun. -y. Yeah. Um, le All right. No, no, no. I nixed the green. Well, he but, and he already wore he wore that sage suit yeah, yeah, to yeah. open it. But but also I Don't yeah. give me that face. <laughs> I knew he was doing it. I but could I tell. Have, well, we have ideas. We have ideas. Hey, Andy, how does it feel to be a Tony nominee? You know, feels feels <laughs> feels good. Feels good in my body. <laughs> I, 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 he is such an effortless actor. Uh, can I just say this? Is he uh, acting? No, this is it. <laughs> Charles Bush at the opening night party said, "Is that Andy Groat guy?" First of all, I love that he's the Groat guy. He is. I've been trying to tell, teach and, everyone how to say your name. Yes. Is that Andy, the Groat guy? Is he a professional actor? <laughs> Did he just wander on stage? Yes. You're, fo almost, you're I, fooling everybody. I just Andy. answered an ad. An ad? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's kind of like a contest. <laughs> Let's see what Reg is doing. Hey, Reg! All right. All right. So I gave you your number. Good. That's great. Thank you. Reg! All right. Let's see if we can make this. Hey, Reg. Yeah. Thank you very much. Do you want to say hi? Okay. All right. To me. Did you find Andy? I'm here. Reg will not. He is so... up our routine. What do you mean? I stood up there and I waited for you. And you didn't come. Wait, know, it's not focusing. Because there was a ping on stage. Oh, Jesus. Keep that footage. <laughs> oh, now I have to go. Jesus. <laughs> I just fell. Oh, she just fell. Wait, it's not fell. focusing. What yeah, happened? Yeah, because she fell down. Excuse me. Close your hand. I'm, I'm changing. What are you talking? What are you, are you I, asking me something? Yeah, I want to talk about um, 
just the idea of like a theater family, like what does that mean to you when I say that? Am I fucking no? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah uh, a theater family, I think that's an accurate description of being backstage. We all are like siblings in the shared room. We might as well have bunk beds in here. <laughs> and we spend all our time together. So we really see each other at our like naked and exposed to our like best foot forward mm -hmm. and we see super highs and like lows like I feel like my relationships in a girl's dressing room in particular are some of like my best yeah. friendships because you really see everyone's like ride and yeah. you can't escape it you can't hide in here so yeah you can't go you can't together. be fake it's uh -huh. like wait how many shows have you done you've done so many and You've done twelve, and so is Leslie. Least, I know, and Sheena. And Sheena. What have you made together? What, how many have you done, Leslie? Me? This yeah. is my eighth show. Oh my god, and Sheena? This is my eighth. Holy crap. This is our third together. Yeah. And Sheena my second. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. And so that's the beauty, that's actually like the global mm -hmm. Broadway theater family, is that you see these people again after a minute, yeah. and you get to like reconnect, and that's like... Family, family. It is really. Here's one of our siblings now. Oh, yeah. siblings. <laughs> Hi, sisters. <laughs> well, I was actually just talking to my friend Jim uh, about that because now Jim and I both live in the same town in New Jersey, and we commute into the city together for our shows. And on a Saturday like this, when all the shows have a two o'clock matinee, uh, there's a whole group of us on the train that come oh, in. So oh, I, I didn't think about I that. I was just commuting in with friends from. Uh, the Prom and The Lion King, a guy from our pit was on the train with us. So it's cool because I feel like I've got a whole crew on the train before I even get to the theater. And I'm welcomed by my, my theater family here. Your with, Tootsie family. With a big oh, birthday. Hey, happy uh, birthday. Oh, yeah, it's your birthday. Oh, my yeah, God. That's birthday. right. Yeah. Um, no, but it's, uh, it's people I like for theater family. I think it's people who get your life because because mm. norm muggles don't get what your what your <laughs> theater life is so your theater family can like identify with you and help you out i mean there's only there's so many questions that only a theater person can answer yeah um so there and they're we different. find out we learn all about each other's deep dark secrets too because you have to and then and some sometimes very rarely <laughs> but sometimes we keep them god damn you look fierce as hell oh you're too kind no nope, i'm not what donuts. are you eating? Oh, they're birthday, birthday donuts. donuts! Yes! In the green room? No, they're by the tall board. Yes! Have a good one. Thank Bye. you, love you. Oh, you look so good. Look at that. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sarah. You questioning your life choices at all? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Siri. <laughs> Shut up. No, I um, love my life. Yeah, that was... Can we try that one more time? I and love in my three, life! And in three, two... Okay. Um, here, here's what I want to know. Talk okay. to me about that robe you're wearing. We got this for opening, and it's very warm, and I don't want to take it off. Do you worry about getting it dirty, though? I don't wear mine because I'm afraid it's going to get dirty really quickly because it's black. Well, but who cares? And just wash it, right? There's pizza upstairs because the boys had their birthdays. It's did you not know that? No, I did. I couldn't go up because I'm getting my makeup. They could have gone up, but then I was... <laughs> Reg came into my room and was like, can you see this? And I'm like, what? He made me turn all the lights on and stare at his face for a very long time because he's wearing makeup today. And I couldn't tell. Why is he wearing makeup? I think he had a blemish. Oh. Oh boy, let's not talk about that. Uh, how was singing in Stars in the Alley? Um, it was really fun, actually. Yeah. Theater did you fans feel are like crazy. A star? Did you feel like a star in the I alley? I did. I felt like a big star in my overalls in the alley. <laughs> do you think it's kind of strange? Um, do you think other stars hang out in alleys, like in Hollywood? Do you think they still hang out in an alley? Totally. Yeah, I think there's lots of alleys, and and that's a great place for stars to hang out. I love. Out. This shows what a good actor you are, because you said yes and to that, I and did. there's no way to turn it into a yes, which is why I asked you. Because let me tell you, there are did no people in an alley. In LA. There aren't that many alleys in LA. I feel like there aren't. It's an improvement. But um, <laughs> I'm kidding. You got to cut all of this. Um, <laughs> What else can I ask? This you? okay. Can I tell you what this week's vlog is about? It's about I would love to family, know that. theater family. Mm-hmm. So I love that. You're All the right. dad. 
If I'm the dad, what are you? I'm probably like, a weird, like, cousin. You're the middle-aged sister. <laughs> <laughs> I am 37, too. I don't mean the age. I mean, like... Middle-aged? The, oh, the middle sister? The I'm middle, the middle... Yeah, definitely. Not middle-aged, middle like, your age. I mean, the middle... Well, you, li- you said I, You know what I mean, though. I, mean, I didn't, like, actually. I thought you okay. meant old. I mean, like, there are <laughs> seven children, and you're number four. <laughs> totally. Totally. <laughs> I didn't get any attention. No, you? Where's Andy? <laughs> I don't know. He's roaming around in his boxer shorts and eating pizza in the hallway. I want that. He's just living the Jeff dream, I think. Is there a ghost? Lauren, what'd you break? Oh, it's Lauren. Oh, wait. Show them this. Here's, uh... Oh, my coffee? Santino's yeah. coffee for the day. Wait, did you get that? They're in there. I can't tell because which. Wait, that's not for that's today. Four. That's no, for today. No, 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 no. I have one a day. Mm. How dare yeah, you? How dare you, home. Lauren? <laughs> <laughs> and there it really is. Really, I've been seeing behind him. You place. know what I call it? Black magic. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm talking about theater families on my vlog this week. Hi, theater families. Um, wh- what do you think of our Tootsie family? You know, autistic family is really cool. I mean, we all, even on our days off, we still talk to each other. <laughs> I mean, that is actually true. That's a true story. But it's fun. We have a good time. Yeah. And um, everybody's happy to be here. So let's tell, yeah. tell a story. That's what I keep telling everyone. Yeah. Let's tell a story. So. I love that. Yep. I'm going to watch you walk. Oh, you're going to watch me walk away? Yep. All right, do it. I'm going to watch me walk away. <laughs> oh, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>